Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Hope City family, welcome to your 7 at 7 on this uh, awesome Tuesday night. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are all uh, healthy and just hanging out at home. So as I usually do, gosh darn it, I'm going to open up in prayer um, and then we'll get into it. So God, I thank you for this night. I thank you for the word that came forth on Sunday. God, I thank you for just um, our our ability and the opportunity to be flexible, God. I thank you that that you give us the, the opportunity to, to be stretched and, and to be flexible so that we don't, um, so we don't get into situations that we're unfamiliar with and just freak out. God, I thank you that you are the king of kings no matter what. God, you're on the throne in the situations that we're calm and in the situations that we have to, uh, that we have to adapt in. And, oh, Father God, I pray you uh, just be with us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. So um, I'm going to get my notes opened up here. Real quick, um, like I said, Pastor Dale talked about flexibility on Sunday, and one of the first things he said was that uh, God poured out his mercy on all of us, and anyone can have it. So that's really good news, right? That anybody can have the mercy of God. So it's not, it's not just for the sinner, right? It's not just for the pastor. It's not just for, you know, it's not just for me. It's not just for the people on stage doing worship. It's not just for any of that. Um, and so I, I, I find peace and I find hope and I, this isn't the bathroom. Um, I guess I'm going to have to be flexible uh, and just work with that. Um, so I hope that doesn't happen again, but I'm sorry if you guys all saw that. It's just Skylar Den right there. Um, so if you want to at him and just let him know that he ruined the video, that's cool. Um, I try, my dog's trying to get downstairs now. So I'm practicing flexibility as we speak. Um, so my first bullet point again, God poured out mercy on all of us and anyone can have it. Uh, he wants to mold us. God wants us to be flexible. He wants to be able to mold us. Um, and I know that Pastor Dale, because of time, I'm not going to read it. Pastor Dale read Romans 9, 16. Um, and basically he talks about, you know, the mold of Jesus Christ, how, you know, we are all, our hearts are supposed to, to look the same, that our, our hearts are supposed to all look the same. We as people are not supposed to look the, the same, but we are all supposed to look the same as far as where our hearts are turned, who are, who, what our hearts look like, you know, purified and, and, um, you know, where we focused on God and, and things like that. Um, God, another thing Pastor Dale said was, um, God views us as priceless, right? He that the 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 potter, right? We are the clay, and God is the potter. He 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 sets his own pace, right? He doesn't try to speed us up. Um, he doesn't try to you know, or he we don't when we try to speed ourselves up. That's not how it works. God has to you know break us down, and God has to you know maybe have to start over. God may be building backwards in your life. Right, he might have be having to take some things away from you. He might be having to break you down so that you can be ready for what is to come. Right, you're you so you can be ready for what he wants to give you. Right, so he might be building backwards in your life, and just because he's going backwards doesn't mean you're not progressing. Yeah, it just means that he's building. Um, he's still building progressively, but he's building backwards. He's taking some things away from you so you can you can grasp and. Uh, understand what he wants to give you, right? So it's all about being flexible. Um, God, God views us as priceless. Um, and there's one mold for all of us. Pastor Dale said that there was one mold for all of us. Um, like I said, he wants all, all our hearts to look the same. Um, it's the clay's job to be flexible. So as, as Christians, as sons and daughters of Christ, it's our job to maybe not always know exactly what God's doing, but it's our job to be flexible and, flexible and let him move in, in you know, whatever capacity that he wants to. He want, we, we should be able to let him move however he wants to, do whatever he wants to, as long as our hearts are focused on him and we keep the main thing the main thing and our eye stays on the prize and we don't get you know, confused or distracted by what's going on on either side of us, what's going on in the world, and we just say, and we just say, God, I'm going to let you set the pace. I'm going to let you mold me. I'm going to be flexible. So God, have your way. Um, that, that's what we're supposed to do as, as sons and daughters. We're supposed to be flexible. That's what our job is. Um, he, another, I'm not going to expound on this too much, but Pastor Dale also said that God literally yearns, craves, and pines after us, right? 
he 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 yearns for us and that's such a powerful word um it's it's such a powerful phrase that he he wants our heart he wants to be able to 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 mold us he he wants all of that right we we sang at the end of worship that you can have my heart god so we we just want to give it away we want to give it to him we don't want to hold anything back we don't want the we don't want the we don't want the potter's hands to have ropes to have bondages on it and excuse me <laughs> um I guess I might be close to time um, because those were my notes, but uh, we don't want the, 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 we don't want to put bondages around the potter, right? Around what he's trying to do. Um, Can I have this back? I just need the last note on there. You're supposed to be flexible. Okay. (laughs) I have one more note. I'm so sorry. Um, Pastor Dale also read 1 Thessalonians 5.19. Um, super flexible in the night, super, super flexible. Uh, and the gist of that message is for time, I'm not going to read it. It says, don't, do not quench the Holy Spirit, right? Don't try to put him in a box, right? Don't try to put bondages around his hands. He's like, well, you can mold me this way, but you can't mold me that way, right? You can have half of my heart, but you can't have my whole heart. Uh, we don't want to try to fit the Holy Spirit into our schedule because it's not about us. Uh, we need to be flexible in what the Holy Spirit wants to do, right? Here you go, man. Thanks. Thank you so much. Um, we want to be flexible with what he wants to do. So we want to let the Holy Spirit mold us and shape us and do his thing. We, 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 don't, want to, we don't want to just say, you know, I, I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to hold on to this part of myself. I'm going to hold on to this part of my heart. I'm going to leave some of the clay out of this situation. Because when you keep some of yourself and you only give the potter a little bit of clay to work with, then you are only, then you are, um, you are, oh shoot. I had the word and then I lost it. But you are basically limiting what what you say God can do with you. You are you are limiting his hands. He wants to take you to ten and you only give him eights, you know, enough enough to take you to eight, enough clay to take you to eight. Let him mold you. Let him shape you, right? Let, let him do what he wants to do. So I think I'm at seven minutes, guys. Um I appreciate the the time tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, If you're watching this later, thanks for coming back. Um, Let's close in prayer and then I'll let you guys go. God, I thank you for this, uh, this night tonight, God, I thank you for the the time and the, and the, and the perspective we got to, we got to dive into tonight. God, I, I pray right now that you would help everybody um, just, just learn and um, to, to seek out, to be flexible, God, that we wouldn't be so concerned with our schedule, God, but we would be on the Holy Spirit schedule, God, that we would let the potter do what he's going to do and us as the clay stay flexible through it all and give you all of our hearts and give you all of ourselves so that you can have it all to work with. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. Have a good night.